Hello. Happy Friday. Please let me know if uh, the mic or anything sounds funny because I have it in a different contraption, a different way. Therefore, I don't know if this sounds good. Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? You just let me know. And welcome in, Sightly. Hello, Susan. How are you, friends? I see you guys are all checking in for your uh, daily reporting for duty. I love to see it. It's so good to see you all so much. Sightly, you are 63% chilling today. Apparently, I am only 8% chilling today, which is about right, because it's been, it's been, it's, it's, it's mentally been, it's been kind of a rough week, so, um, I'm just, hey, I'm just barely keeping it together, but it's fine, we're good, we're here, I'm happy to hang out, we're gonna work on our star path today, we're gonna try to fig finish, finish up what we can, but yeah, and Hufflepuff, hello friend, it is so good to see you, welcome in. How is it going? How's everybody's weeks been? Tell me about your weekend plans. I'm going to see Wicked on Sunday. I'm super excited about it. Um, I'm excited tomorrow to just hang out and hopefully not do a whole lot of anything if I have anything to say about it. But, you know, Nissa, Nissa might have other plans for that, but that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that's a whole lot of chilling. I know, Sightly. And sending you all the positive vibes, my friend. Thank you so much, Sightly. Yeah, I just, I'm really, I'm really struggling a little bit mentally, but it's okay. For the most part. <laughs> it didn't show my 10-month resub in chat. How dare. I love you guys so much. <gasps> Ladybugs, how dare. Well, thank you so much for that. That's weird. I hope that thing things are working. Oh my gosh. Hi, I've missed you. How are you? <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm so excited. I saw it so many years ago, so it'll be nice to see it again. Um, I'm super duper excited. I'm doing an Alice in Wonderland themed escape room tomorrow. Oh, slightly. That sounds like so much fun. I've done exactly one escape room in my time and we did not escape the room. We did an escape. <laughs> Sending love. Thank you, Hufflepuff. I appreciate it. You guys always got my back. I appreciate you so much. Um, I love you. I love you. I love you guys. <laughs> and hello, ship lover. Welcome in. How are you? It's so good to see you. Happy Friday. How was your week? I am just so happy to be hanging out here with you guys, chilling. I am. I keep looking over here because um, I'm. Ch I've got to keep an eye on this until Robert gets home. And she's like under her sheets, like under her fitted sheet right now because she's a mermaid. Um, so I just have to kind of keep an eye on her. <laughs> I'm almost done with the star path too. I have one task left. Hufflepuff, that is awesome. I don't know. I, we have quite a few tasks left, but I think there's only like four days left. So I think I got, I think I've got everything that I need unlocked except for Goofy's outfit and like the big batch of moon, moon, moon stones. I'm so excited. I've only done one escape room and we didn't escape either. Well, slightly. I'm glad to know that I'm not the only one. <laughs> Probably pretty low key weekend. Want to read and clean my apartment. That sounds like the perfect weekend. I need to clean the house, but that's a never, that's an uphill never-ending battle <laughs> it just doesn't stop so <laughs> I'm doing good besides the sad part that just happened in Sims for my not so berry but I mentally 100% fine well ship lover that is amazing I'm sorry about your Sims I know how it can be when you get attached to certain Sims and then it's their time to go or they perish untimely I understand being attached to them <laughs> and hello Pi. hello Kayla hello Deborah. hello hello how are you guys it's so good to see you lurking while I cook dinner all right Kayla I hope you're having something super yummy <laughs> Pi, how are you doing Deborah? how are you I I'm gonna I gotta text you after stream because I think Robert's gonna drop that desk off to you tomorrow sometime in the morning I'll let you know though don't let me forget to text you you can't hear me? Oh no. Slightly. 
Simply you can't simply you can't hear me. <gasps> Ten, months. Ten months heart on fire. Oh my god. Can anybody else hear me? Uh, hello? I haven't even attempted the star path, been trying to catch up with all the quests. I know there's so many quests when you like just start. Okay. Okay, you can hear me. Okay. I ordered a calzone for dinner, so I'm excited. Oh my god, a calzone sounds so good. What kind of calzone did you get? Got Happy Home Paradise for Mother's Day. Oh my gosh. That you're gonna have so much fun. It's so much, it's so much fun. <laughs> All good, I can hear you. Oh weird. So weird, simply. Boo, I hope I get it figured out. And thank you so much for that 10 months, Deborah. Can you believe it? Holy crap. 10 months? It worked. Hi. Simply, hello, friend. It's so good to see you. Hello. By the way, your new hair looks amazing. You look fantastic. I love it so much. It's stuffed with three different cheeses and pepperoni. Oh, my God. Yum. Give it to me. <laughs> The dog just died in Sims. I mean, I know it was coming, but five minutes before the kids were going to the ready, getting ready for school, the dog died. Oh, see, they never choose the right time to pass away, do they? Ever. <laughs> it's a little overwhelming, but I'm trying to power through. I just unlocked Stitch. Oh, Balls. yeah. Balls. Thank you so much for that sound alert, Simply. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got to get food, too. Yeah, I don't... I don't really know what I want to I don't really know what I want to eat. Nothing sounds good. It's been one of those It's got to be one of those like it's one of those days where like I'm starving but I'm not hungry and nothing sounds good, but I simultaneously want to eat everything at all at once. I don't know what's going on with me, but you know, that's if that's any indication on where I am. There you go. <laughs> Dean, my man. Oh, simply me too. Me too. <laughs> Those days are the worst. I know, they're so terrible. <gasps> um, why is, why is this so cute? I better work on the, these moonstones though. <gasps> Jessica, oh my gosh, hi. We miss you. Smiling face with hearts, 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 smiling face with hearts. Smiling face with hearts right back at ya. <laughs> oh, I'm making hamburger helper cheesy beef pasta. Oh my god, that sounds really good. Sometimes those hamburger helper meals really slap. <laughs> and simply go in. In with the in real life word ban. You guys. Five months. Ah, loudly crying, loudly crying, loudly crying. Purple heart. Crying loudly. <laughs> crying loudly. <laughs> Thank you so much for that eight month resub. Thank you for that five month resub. You guys, I love you so much. Thank you. Do you know about the codes you can redeem in DLV? Um, besides the potato ones? No. What game are we playing? Simply, you are evil. We're playing some Disney DLV. I'm not allowed to say what it actually is. Because that word's been banned from stream for the evening. <laughs> you <laughs> I know so many friends Jessica how have you been it is so good to see you yep that's me crying loudly Lauren all the time we love the love I love the love too <laughs> okay so let's go I still haven't finished catching shrimp you guys oh if you want to know what they are I can tell you or send them to you um why don't you send them to me? That would be great. Oh my god. 
my Streamlabs just like glitched out. And of course I think Ursula is sleeping. So let's go see if we can serve any customers in Shea Remy. And let's grab one of the villagers from the Lion King to hang out with. So let's see where we go, who we got. There's Buzz. Ooh. I'm doing better. I hope that you and everyone have been doing well. Jessica, I am so glad to hear that. I'm just so happy to see you. We have definitely missed you, but totally understand that life gets in the way and life happens and you just gotta, you know, take care of yourself and your loved ones and we're always here for you and <laughs> some things never change. <laughs> and um, we're always here for you whenever you're ready to come back. Enjoy your lurk simply. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I have some new intel. Space Rangers and the situation is critical. No. 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 I'm so tired of these dang aliens. Dang. Okay, but I want to go find a lion to hang out with. Let's see. Simba? Well, I guess we could hang out with Simba just because I also need to fish and look for some shrimp. Dang. Freaking. Shrimp. Also, there are a couple of new Channel Point Redeems. I got the um, After Dark version of Pick Your Poison. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, but only because um, I don't know how spicy it is, you know? So there's that. And then um, <laughs> um, there is a new Channel Point Redeem. Um, I got this idea from... Is it just me or does this seem like really choppy one hour random sound yes so i got this idea from my lovely streamer friend victrion who is an amazing wonderful beautiful beautiful human being <laughs> ash hello welcome in how are you friend it's so good to see you welcome in two aliens right off the bat okay game seems super slow i know i wonder if i need to come out and come back in why is it doing that? What is happen? Let me see. Weird. So it's not just me. Mine's been laggy lately too. Oh, pie, no. I'm good working right now. Oh, well, I hope that work is going well. It's so good to see you. I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> oh, sound effect. Okay, so <laughs> I got this from her. She hilarious love her if you need somebody to watch during the day um she's streaming monday and thursdays right now or tuesdays and thursdays one of those days two of those days <laughs> and so she allows um she allows somebody to go onto youtube and pick out like one hour of like random sounds so what that means is i'll shut off the lo-fi um and then i'll play the youtube track in the background and <laughs> it can be random. So like, it'll be like silent, silent, silent. And then the other day it was like bad to the bone. And so then just the ba -na 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 played randomly. And <laughs> it plays like at random times throughout like the one hour that it's redeemed for. <laughs> so I thought that could be fun. I thought it's hilarious. There, somebody last week redeemed it. And it was like the sound of... Um, it was like the sound of a USB disconnecting from from your computer, you know, that ding ding song. And it kept getting everybody so worked up because we were like, oh, my God, is this us? Is it you? <laughs> do you have the sound picked out or do you, we have to pick it? Oh, Ladybug. So you guys get to pick what the sound is. You get to pick what the random sound is going to be for that hour. I think right now. I don't, I don't, I didn't put any limits on it, but obviously it's like for an hour. So there's, there'll be like an hour cooldown on it. Um, 
I didn't get a chance to do that before stream started because I'm I'm on mommy duty tonight by myself until Robert gets home. <laughs> One hour of Michael Jackson grunts. Oh my God, could you imagine, Lauren? One moment my internet is being glitchy. Slightly, I hope. It's probably me. It's probably me. I'm going to restart it here in a second. I was just going to see if like doing something would make it better. But yeah, ladybugs, you guys get to pick the sound. <laughs> That's gold. I know, Ash. It's hilarious. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. <laughs> Could be so chaotic. I know. I know. That's kind of why I love it. Okay. Med check. Oh, thank you for the med check. Yes, if you have not taken your meds today, now is your time to take them. Please take your medicine. Make sure you drink a glass of water. Please take care of yourself. Take your meds. Get a snack. You know, you know the drill around here. Oh, I have mine picked out. <laughs> Just need the points. Oh, gosh. Here we go. <laughs> if someone did the Microsoft Teams sound when you get a message, I'd get tripped up every time. Oh, me too, Hufflepuff. Me too. <laughs> Hard boiled eggs. Okay, let me try another one. And then maybe we can go shopping at Scrooge's. And then if it still seems like it's really glitchy, we'll back out and go back in. I really just need it not to be glitchy because um, I really need to play this game, you know? I need to get this star path done. God, Maui, you're so massive. And we have our first, we have our first random sound effect just for funsies. Okay. So you can send it to me on, um, you can send me the link in a whisper or send it to one of the mods and then one of the mods or send it to me on discord, whatever you want to do. Oh God, you're making me nervous. I hope it works. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let me get out of here. Okay. Let's see. I'm so excited for this. I'm really nervous. <laughs> oh, thank you for that message, Hufflepuff. I appreciate it. Okay. Ladybugs, did you find a sound? Did you send a sound? And hello, is it the Zazber? I love that username. That's so cool. Welcome in. How are you? It's so good to see you. Good so so good to meet you. <laughs> All right. So let's pause the music. Ladybugs DM'd me on Discord. <laughs> All right. So let me see if I can find this. Give me just a second. Um, oh, wow. I should really learn how to spell YouTube. You could really pull up some questionable stuff with that. One hour. Random. So you're banana bread experts. At this. Sorry, that was probably so loud. <laughs> My bad. My bad. You can call me Zaz. Well, it's so nice to meet you, Zaz. Welcome in. Someone should do the cheese tag sound. <laughs> Why is Goofy able to talk what Pluto isn't even though they are both dogs? I agree with that, Zaz. A thousand percent. Isn't it kind of sus suspicious? Oh, no. 
Oh, no, I don't want to accidentally leak anything. Okay, so let's see if this is going to work. Hold on, I'm going to mute the ad. And then you'll have to tell me if it's too loud or... Of course it's a 15-second ad that I can't skip. Oh, there's another one. Another 13-second ad that I can't skip. These ads are wild looking though. Weird. Oh, it's a Flonase commercial. Oh, is this just gonna go on for an hour? Oh, that's not what I want. Someone said Goofy is technically a cow, but I ain't buying it. Yeah, no, he, I'm not buying it either. <laughs> okay, I got to find a version that's not just that sound all the way through. Ah! I am so sorry. Rip, please don't leave me. He is a confirmed dog. I know. I agree. I agree. A thousand percent. Um, like, I just want. I just want one that's like. Wow. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. Random. Okay. So, Ladybugs, I'm going to refund your points because I can't find one that's exactly like that. So, um, you just let me know. <laughs> just want to turn it up a little bit. That was me. That was me. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll try. We'll see if it works. So it's going to be random for an hour. We'll see if it works. Um, ladybugs, remind me to refund your points after stream. <laughs> Confirmed by Walt Disney. Uh, did you know that his first appearance, he was called Dippy Dog? Was he Zaz? I did not know that. My hubby got gifted the new Zelda game from his birthday, and he's been waiting for his Switch to charge to be able to play it. Oh, well, hopefully it charges up quickly. Okay. I, you don't have to. Are you sure, ladybugs? I feel bad because it's not exactly the, the sound you were looking for. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that glitch. Do you see that? Oh, my God. He was, so that already confirmed his species. I might need to turn it up a little bit more, but I'm also going to... I think I'm going to quit and start it all over. Okay. So let's quit game. Yes, I want to quit. That was me. Also, um, I apologize in advance. I'm still trying to figure out this whole... Um, Kitty, yes, Pi, that is one of my three, one of my three kitties. It sounds like Macy. <laughs> Mace, come here, baby. No, that's Drax. Come here, boo-boo. 
<laughs> yeah, if we want to do a um, an introduction an introduction check, we can do that. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Kayla. I use she/her pronouns, and an, I like to play games on Twitch on the internet with my friends. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> Pi, I think our kitten Meek is terrorizing um, Drax, so that's why he's meowing like that. <laughs> I've I really want to get the Zelda game, but I think I'm gonna have to wait until next week to get it. Okay, that seems that seems a little better. Oh, maybe I maybe I spoke too soon. He's like, Mom, they're bothering me. Yeah, he's... He gets... What is happening here? Is it because I have too much stuff going on in the background? This is... This is bad. This is really, really bad. <gasps> Why is it like this? Why? I just want to play Disney. Is it just this game that's doing that or other games too? You know what, Ladybugs? That's a good... Let's... Let's go see. Let's go, Toast. Right here. Right here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Rip. Rip to the headphone users. I'm so sorry. Let's try a different game. Um, I'm trying to think of a game that's not going to blow our eardrums out. Um, that's also a good re re redeem sound for random commercials. I know. I'm going to try a game that's, um, <coughs> that's, uh, kind of graphics heavy too. I just want to see, cause I would really rather not have to like restart my computer, you know? This is Coral Island. <laughs> Just so you guys know. <laughs> we'll see. Well, this one seems okay. Okay. Um. I guess we'll try this one too.
But I wanted to play Disney. Hold on. Robert's about. Oh, wow. Okay, Robert's about to pull in. And the dog is going to go nuts. So I'm just going to. I'm just going to mute in a second. Oh, my God. And then I guess we'll try to open up. We'll try to open up Dreamlight Valley again. <laughs> I just said it. Sorry, I've been emailing Twitch about my emote struggles. It's been so frustrating. Sightly, what's going on with your emotes? Like your personal emotes? By the way, are you streaming on Twitch? Hmm? 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 Let's just do like a... Okay. Let's see if this game is laggy. And then it might just be a, dream, a DLV thing. Oh, get out of my way! Oh yeah. It seems like it might just be a DLV thing. I'm rusty. No! Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. Lauren, I'm so glad I was muted because I definitely said that out loud. Okay. So it's not this game that's the problem. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I'm muted. So technically, technically, technically I'm good. Oh, no, not mine. When I upgraded my tier on Tio's channel, I put these little white and black triangles over the tops of them, and I can't seem to resolve it. Oh, that's really weird. That's really strange. Have they given you any... It got me! It got me! It got me good. I was like, great. What's disconnecting now? <laughs> Is that the puppers? I'm really hoping that it will just work. It's going to make me sad. It's not... If DLV doesn't work, you could always just be a pro fort streamer. What's a pro fort streamer? I know you're not talking about Fortnite. I'm terrible at Fortnite. I am absolutely awful at Fortnite. You have Fortnite. <laughs> Fork knife. Oh. 
This is really bad. Seems a little better. Maybe. Oh, I guess this will be the telling. This will be the telling. Not great, though. I know. It's really, really rough. I mean, I haven't really opened it in a couple of days. You don't think it's because there's a bunch of items that spawned? And maybe that's making it? Let me see if I can pick up some of this stuff. Maybe let's try to troubleshoot it a little bit. So let's get rid of this. They email you about a about working a bunch of info about using browsers like Miss Ma'am, I use the app, please help me. Oh yeah. That's so frustrating. I wanted to redecorate anyways. So let me see if it's that. Because I do have a lot of crap out and about. I mean like a lot of crap. But I don't even well, it looks like I can have No, I just got into Dreamlight, into DLV today after not getting in there for five days, and I didn't really have the lagging like that. Ugh. I mean... It seems, it seems okay. No. <laughs> Why is this happening? Was that you? <laughs> um, that was a random sound effect. It was not me. <laughs> I wonder, because I'm also recording the stream. Does the stream look okay? Okay, I'm going to stop recording. Maybe I just got way too much going on. Maybe there's just way too much going on. My bitrate looks okay. So weird. I didn't even realize that was turned on. Yeah, Ladybugs redeemed it. Ladybugs redeemed it. <laughs> Sorry, my mom is texting me. Okay. <laughs> she always... She always... It just stinks because, like, ugh, maybe I gotta go back out and go back in since I stopped recording. I don't think I have anything else open. <laughs> um, nothing more than I normally do. Where's my task manager? Maybe I've got stuff that I shouldn't have open. I think we name it Chaos. Welcome to the farm, little one. <laughs> Thank you so much for, oh my gosh, the nine month resub, Mariah. Oh my God. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family funny farm, <laughs> Chaos. Um, what the, f what, I don't need that, yeah, I don't like have anything, none of this is running, 
thank you so much for that nine months, Mariah. I can't believe that I, it's already going on like nine, ten months knowing and hanging out with some of you guys. It's just, it's so unbelievable. I love you guys so much. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to cry if this doesn't work. And thank you so much for your daily Space Ranger check-in. Reporting for duty. <laughs> Welcome to the farm, little one. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Mariah ordered a pizza. A traditional vegetarian pizza. Fresh mushrooms, red onion, green pepper, black olives, and tomato. Ooh, slightly ordered a pizza. They got a BLT pizza. Bacon, tomato, lettuce, drizzled with homemade ranch. Oh, man. Pizza is where it's at. That does sound pretty good, except for the mushrooms. Ooh. Pie also ordered, got a traditional veggie. Jessica got a chicken Alfredo pizza. Oh, that sounds good. Ladybugs. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> What's not right? You're 14% chilling today? You're more chilling? Mariah is 60% chilling today? Pi loves mushrooms. I don't know if it's just like a a texture thing. I, don't, I can't do it. Hi. How was horseshoes? It was good? You drink a little bit? Do you drink a lot of it? Are you feeling friendly? <laughs> Lauren got a spicy Mediterranean. I, that sounds so good, Lauren. I think I'm going to get one of those tomorrow. <laughs> I want Jessica's pizza. Just hold the mushrooms. Yeah, right? Y'all making me hungry. Luckily, food is on the way. Ooh, Hufflepuff. What did you get? Kayla got a spinach Alfredo pizza. That sounds really good. Oh, my gosh. Feeling friendly. Yeah, he's feeling... Uh, He's he's feeling uh friendly for sure. Hubby and I got Chinese. Ooh, what is your go-to Chinese food order? I like sweet and sour chicken with fried rice and an egg roll. And crab rangoon. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's still not great, y'all, but if it gets too bad, you just let me know and we'll we'll stop. I wonder if I was just doing too much. I want Chinese. I know. God. What? Robert's drunk and also wants Chinese food. I'd give anything for Chinese right now. <laughs> I got to sneeze. Sesame chicken with fried rice and an egg roll. Mmm. What else does everybody else like to get? I also like General Sauce chicken. I'm laughing so mad, Jessica. He's. He's being ridiculous. Ugh, why is it doing this? Do you see this? Okay. Thanks. You brought me a cupcake? <laughs> He's like, he's like, want a cupcake? <laughs> oh my god. Tekamaki. <laughs> I can't handle him.
<laughs> but these are supposed to be Nissa's cupcakes. My mom bought them for her on her on their way home to drop her off to me. It was their way of not having to buy her another Barbie doll. <laughs> That is not what I selected. Wow. So has the random sound effect gotten anybody else or just me? I keep thinking that something's disconnecting from my computer. Teka Maki? It was actually, I watched. It was what I selected? Why didn't you stop me, Hufflepuff? <laughs> Why didn't you say, hey, wait, that's not right. A seafood platter for, for Stitch. Stitch doesn't really strike me as a seafood type. Mobile Dillo would have been too slow. Oh, that's true. Um, Stitch wanted a seafood platter. That's a large seafood platter. Is there just a regular seafood platter? Or is there... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay. Excuse me? Aw, he's so cute. Craft a white, yellow, and black balloon arch. Why? Why do they do this? I don't even like balloon arches. They're so ridiculous. Wow. This is so bad. I wonder if I did this. If this would make any difference. Okay, so it's not, it's not great. <laughs> wow, we're really going so fast across the valley. <laughs> Good grief. Um. Ugh. White, yellow, and black balloon arch. Really? I don't want to make it. I don't want to. I'm not going to. You're looking a bit run down, Kayla. Well, mind your biz own business, Mother Gothel. That's the task I'm on, the balloon arch. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Nala's asleep. Why do they make the balloon arches so difficult? Oh my god. I have never... So like, it seems to be moving fine here, and then, like, as soon as I hit here, as soon as I hit the valley, it acts like this. I can't remember how many days it took to collect the flowers for that ladybugs. It sounds terrible. 
I don't think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it right now. <laughs> this lag. I, anybody have any ideas on how I can fix it? Maybe switch games. But I don't want to switch games. See, cause it looks fine right here. Oh. Ugh, we could switch games. What do you guys want to play? I don't have my switch hooked back up after I got a new desk and stuff. Should we try The Sims? Speed Speedstorm? What do we think? Jack, we could play some community games. We could do maybe Nitro Racing. Maybe. Possibly. This is making me really sad. Because it seems normal. You know we like some Sims drama. That's true. I just don't get it. We'll give it a couple more minutes, and then maybe we'll go play some Sims. Can you only catch... Th also, can you only catch the anglerfish in the Forgotten Lands? It seems to only lag when it feels like it. I know! That's what I don't understand. Okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to, so I'm going to turn the music back on for a minute and I'm going to go check on Nissa. make sure she's okay because I can hear her kind of whining in there and I just want to make sure that nothing is, nothing is going on. And then when I get back, we'll turn on the, we'll turn the sound effects on. But... All right, I will be back in just a moment. I'm going to go check on Nissa, and then when I come back, we'll see if this is still lagging. If it's still lagging, we'll switch over to some Sims, um, but I will be back in just a few minutes. Please get a snack on Pretzel Stretch. You know the, dr the drill. I will be right back.
I'm back. Hi, Boo. Come here. Hi. This is a big boy. Hi. Meek. Yikes. Oh, sorry about the dog. Okay. We're back to our... Got about 30 minutes left of that. Good Lord. I know. Meek's... Drax like, man, I just want to snuggle with my mom. Okay. Let's see. You still going to be laggy on me? Ursula's asleep. Of course she is. Mirabelle and her 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 butterflies. Also, listen, if I drank even a quarter of a tall boy, I would probably be down for the count, y'all. I don't I don't drink very often, so <laughs> I I don't know how much fun I would actually be. And Bex, hello, happy Friday, friend. How's it going? It's so good to see you. I love when everybody's here to hang out. It's so much fun. Especially after this mentally hard week that I've had. I just, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are the best. So weird. Because now it's like, fine. I don't know. Do I just, does it look fine? Or am I just like, hope, I'm just like, hoping it's fine. <laughs> Sand. Sand. I. Come on. I just want some shrimp. Shine down. The Revolution's live so tour continues. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. September 12th. Hi. I really wish it wouldn't play ads like that was really ridiculous. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Rip. I hope nobody was using headphones. Because I would have felt so terrible. <laughs> I'm good. I'm having a drink and just relaxing tonight. How is everyone? Ooh, Bex, what are you drinking? That sounds like fun. We were just talking about... Robert having a few drinks. He's a little toasty. Random loud noises. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Me with headphones and oh, Kayla, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. A sake and mango juice cocktail. Oh, that sounds fancy. But also delicious. Shrimp. Give me a shrimp. Shrimp. I know they're blue bubbles, but... <sighs> this is really, really bumming me out. One of the easiest quests. And I can't get it done. Well, it seems okay for the moment. So we're just going to stick with it. We're just going to go and see if... If, uh... Come on. 
and then it does that. Rude. I'm a terrible fisher. Have you redeemed those freebies? Oh, from the, um, from like the parks thing? Like the ones that were coming in our mailbox? Like these? Let's try to go fishing in the Forgotten Lands for a little bit. But it's something else, I think, like nine different things. Oh, I wonder if it's, um, Hufflepuff just sent me a, a DM on Discord that had a whole bunch of, uh, different, like, re redemption codes. I wonder if that's what you're talking about. I need to. Yep. Oh, that's so scary. That's so scary. So Robert and I watched the Titanic again. Me for the like millionth time. We watched it last night, and even Robert was getting emotional. He's like, becoming a dad has turned me into a big old softy. That was a big fish. It's so bad that, like, I've seen it to the point where I can, like, quote it <laughs> word for word. That, fun fact, that was actually the movie that made me want to get into making movies. I wanted to be, I wanted to be a, fil a filmmaker because of that movie. Thanks, James Cameron. I would never be able to get Mike to sit through the ho that whole movie. Ladybugs. He picked that movie all by himself. He picked it out. To watch it. I asked him if he was feeling okay. He was. <laughs> Whenever I watch it, I start it from when the iceberg hits. Really, Lauren? That's so funny. <laughs> Okay. Dreamlight Valley. Let's catch anglerfish. I only have to catch five, three more anglerfish. Was that after a few tall boys? I know. No, he was completely sober. Can you believe it? <laughs> the first time I watched it, I laughed at the status scene, but I hated the kids being locked downstairs and in the water. I know. Jessica, that part is always so tough. And it it felt even more depressing, like now being a, a mom myself, especially the scene where the mo they're like locked in the in in their quarters, and she's just like telling them a bedtime story so they fall asleep. I just wanted to cry the whole time. By the scene, I mean the floating door scene. <laughs> I'm still convinced that they could have both fit on there. I don't know. I just think that it. If they if they had tried a little bit harder, Jack could have been spared. <laughs> oh, nice. The first Pirates of the Caribbean is the movie that made me want to go to art school for animation and special effects. Really, Bex? That's cool. Yeah, I, um, when I first saw that movie, what year did that movie come out? 2000? I don't know. The first time I got to see it was probably 1998, maybe? Is that when that came out? This is Dave, head of marketing at a ketchup company about to use Grammarly to handle it.
Okay. We're going to be done with that. I don't want to keep blowing people's earballs out. I'm going to have to find one that doesn't have any... Any, like... Ads. It changes it from romance drama to an action adventure. Lord, that's fair. That's fair. Pirates came out in 2003, I think. Yeah, that one is really... I love the Pirates movies. I think we're due for a rewatch, actually. But yeah, the first time I ever saw the Titanic, I said, wow. I want to make movies just like this. Yes, that part and the two babies and the woman's are Yep, 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 yep. Terribly depressing. Literally, they had no urgency to fit him onto. I know. Like, I'm sorry. I would have been doing all I could to get Leo on that door with me. I'm just saying. Also, fun fact, they modeled the flesh of the undead pirates after beef jerky. Really, Bex? I didn't know that. What? That's really, that's fascinating. I'm still finding eggs, y'all. Is that normal? It's May. Lurk eating dinner. All right, Hufflepuff, enjoy your dinner. Eat some for me, please. Love that. That's sweet. It inspired you. Yeah. But now I do nothing of the sort. I got my degree and <laughs> that's it. Mythbusters debunked the floating door scene. Technically, they both would have fit, but the buoyancy wasn't enough to keep them out of the water. So they would have died of hypothermia anyways. Oh, Bex. Breaking my heart. Breaking my heart. <laughs> I love Titanic. My mom would play the soundtrack for us to go to sleep as kids. Really, Kayla? That's so sweet. I love that. Yeah, I was like, man, why do I have my heart will go on stuck in my head all day? Because I watched Titanic right before we went to bed last night. <laughs> And then Robert and I fell down a rabbit hole of, um, of like Titanic facts and stuff after we watched it, <laughs> you know, as one does, because Robert was asking like the science and stuff behind some of the stuff and some of the facts and we both just fell, fell down like a Google rabbit hole. It was pretty funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Be a shrimp. Be a shrimp. Please be a shrimp. Please be a shrimp. You're blue. Please, 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 please. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. Herring is to DLV what sea bass is to Animal Crossing. You can't change my mind. <laughs> now I want to watch it again. AJ doesn't like it, though. Oh, Kayla. Just, just put it on. Just, just put it on. Be right back. Puppy needs to go out. All right, Jessica, sounds so good. So true. Very true. I'm glad I'm not alone. <laughs> I started, um, okay, I'm done hanging out with you. Let's hang out later. Um, I started our new Animal Crossing Island. I just wanted to kind of grind through the first part and get to three stars before we played it on stream. Um, the island is named Dewdrop. Um, it's going to be like an enchanted forest, enchanted forest E kind of, I think. Um, 
but I can't, I was catching so many freaking sea bass. I was like, I got to stop. I had to literally, I had to put it down. I was getting so mad. Every other fish I was catching was a sea bass. And I'm so sick of that joke. Because it's not even funny. <laughs> like, not even remotely funny. Okay. I just want to say, guys, I'm so glad that I talked myself into streaming tonight. I was sitting there after I'd gotten Nissa laid down, and I was like, do drop. More like, don't drop. right here is why I'm so glad I was like you know what just just stream stream for a little bit and if you're not feeling it you can always end and I'm so glad that I did you guys are really why I keep doing this and I appreciate and adore each and every one of you so much you don't even know I haven't watched a stream in so long. I've missed this. We've missed you, Kayla. Um, but like I was telling Jessica earlier, I totally understand, you know, life and family and all of that stuff is so much more important. And we're just so thrilled and we're so happy. And I feel so lucky when you do get a chance to come back and hang out. Um, it really, it really makes me very, very happy. <laughs> and now I sound like a creep. But what do you call a nocturnal bird wearing a suit of armor? A night owl. But I'm. <laughs> I love, I love dad jokes, or jokes like that. It makes me so happy. <laughs> oh, night owl. Do you know that when i playing Animal Crossing, I've been playing it since like May or June when it first came out. And I never, this is like six months ago that I realized this, that Blathers is awake during the day or asleep during the day and awake at night because he's an owl. I was always like, man, this guy just sleeping on the job. He's lazy. No, it's because he's an owl. <laughs> Duh. I'm like, wow. 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 Blathers, the owl in Animal Crossing? Lauren? <laughs> AJ's been working from 12 to 9, so it's been a lot. Bedtime by myself with Millie is a doozy. I totally know who. You can't do that to me. I was going to fall. I was going to fall right into that. Lauren, I'm keeping an eye on you. <laughs> when I first started playing, I felt so bad donating to the museum during the day because I woke him up. Bex, really? And I was just like, man, this dude is lazy. This is one lazy owl. No, it was just scientifically correct. Lauren. <laughs> Is there only the two ponds in this spot? I can't remember. Yeah, there is. Shoot. Dun, 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 dun. I'm so glad that it stopped lagging. 
My inventory is full. What? But why? A llama? He's supposed to be dead. And welcome back, Jessica. Okay, Isma. <laughs> we um we tried to watch the Ember's new group with Nissa and she was not having it. She was not feeling it. <gasps> Thank you so much, Stephanie, for that nine months. Another, another Twitch baby. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the nine months. I appreciate you so much. You don't even know. Um, thank you for spending these last nine months with me. You're the best. I love you. <laughs> Did Becky go to sleep? <gasps> no! Why didn't you guys tell me? I didn't turn my sound back on after... Becky... Becky, it was my fault. I had my desktop audio muted because of the ads on the random sound effects video. Sorry. She said, he yo. <laughs> but we're thankful for you. Uh, thank you for keeping the community safe. Um, we love you. You're the best. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. How was your week? Amelia thinks my name is Llama because of the Llama Llama books. Really, Kayla? That is so cute. Cusco's poison? The poison for Cusco? <laughs> There's this guy on TikTok that does the best Kronk impressions. Really? There are some really impressively, like, talented people on TikTok. Um, I fell down the rabbit hole of, like, the makeup look people or like they do like the costume makeup it's just amazing I could never in a million years ever be that good at doing like special effects makeup and stuff like that <laughs> did Becky go to sleep oh Bex that's right <laughs> not me forgetting Becky is your TTS voice I did not go to sleep I haven't slept in I don't know how long Bex it will eventually at some point get a little bit better. I promise. <gasps> Anonymous! Thank you so much for gifting that sub to Pi. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, wait. No, don't drop the book. Anonymous uh, with a gift, a, a gift sub to Bex. Thank you, you guys. Oh, who's doing that? Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Anonymous. Thank you so much for gifting those subs out to the community. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. It really... Thank you. You're a sweetheart. I know you're anonymous for a reason. But thank you. I appreciate you. It... It truly blows my mind. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I know I say sing your praises and say your guys' praises every single stream, but I really just want you to know how appreciative I am for each and every one of you. Always and forever. 
I love you always forever near and far but we're together <laughs> Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> rave cat, rave cat. Wow, none of this stuff. I really, I really need to um, try to do that plaza tree trick this weekend at some point because it's so hard to see over here. Like, ridiculous. Why can't I fish? What is wrong with me? You guys got me all flustered. When in reality, I am just a terrible fisher anyways. I've been playing a new Stardew save on my, like, in my spare time. And thank you so much for your daily Space Ranger check-in. So happy you're reporting for duty. <laughs> friends oh my gosh thank you so much i really super appreciate it thank you so much enjoy your um your your ad free viewing and your emotes punk town punk town <laughs> thank you so much you guys get me flustered stop that okay Let's go, let's go to the Frosted Heights and try to get some, uh, Amethyst, right? That took like 10 tries on my phone with face recognition. Really, Lauren? Oh my gosh. Lurk to do mom things. Bex, I understand. Do all the mom things. <laughs> Oh, but my inventory is full. Guys, you're not holding me. You're not be you're not keeping me on track here. I can sell some of this stuff though. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you to whoever gifted me a sub. I missed the alert because I had the stream closed for a second. Oh, yes. Make sure you do you do think. Um, anonymous for those subs. Super generous. Really, just top tier humans all up in here. Okay. What are these books for? Where did these even come from? I don't, I don't understand. Reporting for duty. I don't know. I keep them in a chest. I think they came from a Merlin thing. Oh, they're really obnoxious. Because I don't even think, like, I can do anything with them. Yeah, it just says drop them. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, don't do this laggy thing to me again. We were we were on we were on a roll. So anybody have any fun plans for this weekend? If you're a mama that's gonna be celebrating Mother's Day, are you doing anything? fun are you getting some time for yourself i'm talking human human and fur babies count <laughs> and measy hello friend how are you how is it going i was lurking in stream how is tears of the kingdom so far We're going to Bluey Live on Mother's Day. Lauren, that is, that's like a typical Mother's Day thing. <laughs> it's, 
It's a day for you, but you spend it doing stuff for your family. I get it. <laughs> Did you get the glitch where all the flowers in the frosted heights were red until you pick them and see the actual color? Yes, Stephanie. Yes. In fact, I think most of my flowers are still are still that way. Green. Black. <laughs> Cheese of the Kingdom was good. That's good. That's good. I, um, I'm debating getting it. I haven't played a Zelda game in so long. So I don't know if I should just start with Tears of the Kingdom or if I should do Breath of the Wild first. I don't know. AJ has something planned. He got a sitter for Amelia and we're going somewhere. Oh, Kayla, that sounds like fun. I feel a little bad not spending it with Amelia, but with AJ's schedule, this was the only day we could do a date night. I know that it's, I know it's hard not to feel that mom guilt, Kayla, but you and your partner's relationship is just as important. And it's only for a few hours. And Amelia will, 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 will understand, I promise. Luckily, our kiddos are a little are little right now, so. <laughs> I know it's still easier said than done. Mom guilt is like the worst of all of the guilds. <laughs> I don't know what's come over me. I had the urge for something wildly different. Hey, if it's working for you, though, that's awesome. I think you can start with either or. If you want the backstory, you can watch the lore on YouTube. Oh, that's a good idea. I didn't even think about that. <sighs> well, maybe that's what... Maybe that's what... um. Because so Robert got me... He got me a Timu order <laughs> for Mother's Day. But he also said to pick something else out, so I wonder if I could talk him into Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> my dad called me about an hour after I got my tubes removed in November and asked if we had tickets yet. So he gave me his card info and in my high as the cloud state of mind booked it for Mother's Day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Warren, that's still awesome though. He was like, hey, go to Bluey. <laughs> and you were like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's true even on days when I'm told to treat myself I always get treats I could share with Amelia Kayla I'm the same way I am the same exact way <laughs> do it oh Meezy I think I might I think I might okay did you see how Frosted Heights just got super glitchy all of a sudden that's like painful Oh my gosh, it's kind of... And now it's fine. There, haven't, there hasn't been any, like, updates, right? I'm not, like, missing something update-wise. That was weird. Wasn't that so weird? Was that Elsa saying she was like, mm, get out of here? <laughs> um... Collect star coins. Catch anglerfish. Ugh. I think I've collected most of these. I kind of want to do this before I do Goofy's thing. Because that's a lot of moonstones. <laughs> I will say the giant floating rocks in the sky is slightly annoying, but I'm figuring it out. Well, I'm glad that you that you're enjoying it. I kind of I wanted to see how people were liking it, and I know that you're having so much fun. So, I think it's settled. I think that's exactly exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> John said I could buy myself some Kindle books for Mother's Day, and that was truly all I wanted. Oh, Lauren, that's so sweet. I know I had gotten together a Timu, a Timu order, and I was showing Robert, and I was like, "Well, I gotta wait till payday to get anything," 
And then he handed me my phone back and was like, Happy Mother's Day. And I was like, Excuse me? What did you just do? So we'll have another Timu haul probably sometime next week. <laughs> I was like, you never do that kind of stuff. I was like, thank you. I appreciate it. So I'm super excited. <laughs> I can't open Timu too dangerous. It's so dangerous. I've done two orders so far at Meezy. It's, it's like, it's a high end version of Wish. Because everything we've gotten so far has really been, like, high quality. So... <laughs> AJ ordered a cloth diaper with Amelia's footprint on it. Oh my gosh, Kayla, that's so sweet. You don't be glitching on me now. Yeah, for the prices, it's been so good. Some items are too pricey and I'm being cheap about it. Hey, don't you be cheap about it. I'm cheap about some things too. <laughs> oh, you want 20 for that? No, I want five items for that, right? And then they do like, um, uh, I keep getting this like thing where you place an order and then you get you get some money back so I've gotten like ten dollars back in credit and I'm like oh stop it stop taking my money you're really gonna make me go broke <laughs> I've never ordered from Timu but I get ads for it all the time Kayla it's dangerous don't don't start unless you're willing to spend some money. Seriously. Don't do it. Cuz now all I want to do is and then like I could sit on the app and it just it just sucks you right in. And then before you know it you've been scrolling on Timu for 2 hours and you don't know how you got where you got. <laughs> and you're just like, "Oh, okay." This is my life now. This is this is fine. No, I'm going to have to download it. Kayla, I'm warning you. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Mine was late and it also gave me credit. It's a ploy. Oh, and they know they're like these people. These people will do it. Kayla's like, I'm living life on the edge. I warned you. AJ, if you're listening, I'm sorry. Truly. Truly, I am. <laughs> oh, come on. I want to get rid of... You guys, my storage is so bad. It's so bad. Like, why am I the way that I am? Okay. I'm gonna go sell some of this stuff now. We're getting laggy again. What the heck? I wonder if it's because my computer needs an update. I was not updating before stream tonight. Bad things always happen when you do that. And I didn't want to take any chances, you know? Probably going to regret selling those flowers. It's fine.
it's gonna be I don't sell any of my flowers anymore pie I know I really shouldn't but I like to live dangerously Ursula wake up what is you what do you even need what do you what do you like today so we can get it ready vegetarian pizza gazpacho and blue marsh milkweed well I can make both of those a reality right now oh my god I'm gonna have to spend one entire day just like frustrated with that really super super duper frustrated vegetarian pizza also seems like a odd choice for a sea witch but what do I know also listen I am so excited for the new Little Mermaid movie um, Halle Bailey looks amazing I think we had this discussion on what Tuesday um, Melissa McCarthy looks amazing um, I'm so excited I told Robert I was like I want to see it first and then we can go take and then we can go take Nissa to see it I want to enjoy it first that way when she inevitably gets overwhelmed and we have to leave I have already seen it, so I know what happens. <laughs> My game is glitching too when I'm in the frosted ice. Oh, Kayla, so I'm glad it's not just me. I'm going to a Sinbistro with my partner to see it. What's a Sinbistro? That sounds fancy. But also, like, the best time ever. Same. I'm so excited for Aquafina as Scuttle. Oh my gosh. Me too. I love her so much. It's like a movie theater restaurant combo. Oh my gosh. That literally sounds like the best. The best time ever. Oh, Pi, you're going to have so much fun. Elsa always be wanting to eat birthday cake. Girl, are you okay? Are you you okay? <laughs> I saw a shirt at Walmart with the new Little Mermaid on it, and I almost got it for Amelia. Oh, really? Walmart's already got that stuff out? Ooh. That sounds like fun. I'm gonna... Oh, I do have to go grocery shopping this weekend. And like we've been, we've been, so we've been shopping at Aldi to save a little bit of money, but we still get like pop and stuff from Walmart. So maybe we'll look for some stuff. Not that I need to buy Nissa anything else. <laughs> Robert would probably rather I didn't. I really just need to make some money right now, right? Oh. Do you find Aldi to be cheaper than Walmart? I've always wondered. Yeah, so we save probably because we grocery shop for the four of us. So me, Robert, Robert's dad, and Nissa. Um, we probably spend about $100 less at Aldi um, than we would at like Walmart. And a lot of their stuff is, is comparable. Is that the right word? <laughs> Comparable. Um, so we really, we really enjoy it. Oh no, I want to sell. Sell. I like that garden for being able to sell like vegetables and stuff. It's so nice. I 
I love Aldi so much. We spent under $150 for the four of us for two weeks. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's it's so nice. I shop at Aldi often and assume it was similar prices to Walmart. I will stick with Aldi. Yeah, um, Walmart I found, especially recently, has been, it's just been so expensive. Like, we had to go, we had to go last week because uh, we needed to get a box of pull-ups um, we just needed like a couple of snack things and like some cleaning supplies and we literally probably had eight things in our cart and we spent like $85. It felt like it was ridiculous. The chocolate chip muffins at Aldi so good. Oh my gosh. The banana nut ones are so good. Oh. Man, we're definitely gonna have to make an Aldi run. I always make sure too, cause we got, we bought one of the, um, we bought one of the Aldi like bags. And so we always make sure to stick it back in the car after we use it. <laughs> Pull ups are so god awful expensive in swim diapers. I know. I cannot wait until Nissa is potty trained. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming we'll still be buying, we'll still be buying pull-ups for a little while. Um, but it's, I feel like they're as expensive as buying formula and diapers combined. It's ridiculous how expensive they are. And then like swim diapers are a necessity and it's like, oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> I don't know. There are just some things that I feel like should be cheaper. <laughs> I mean, but what do I know? I still buy it. And they know that I'll still buy it because I have to. I used to love the Aldi paper bags for a placemat while painting. They're the perfect thickness. Really? I kind of love that. A pack of 10 is like $7, almost a dollar a piece. I know. Frankly, diapers and wipes, or diapers and formulas and all that should be subsidized. I agree. I agree. They're necessities, you know? I will never forget. So, obviously, we had Nissa like, right right smack dab in January or July of 2020 everything was closed down formula shortage I have never been more stressed thank you thank you than I ha I had been during that whole like shortage it was it was so scary and like it did nothing for my postpartum anxiety um, in fact, I'm pretty sure that whole thing is what, like, I always knew that I had anxiety, but I was like, you know what? I can handle it. I, I can, I can do this. It's fine. I don't need it. I don't need help. Yeah, I definitely needed help. <laughs> I, um, the whole, it just, it all just came screaming at me. And Robert was like, I can't believe you're getting so worked up over, like, diapers. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't understand everything that your body goes through after you have a baby. And I'm, like, sobbing about not being able to buy diapers for Nyssa. And, <laughs> yeah, it was just terrible. I gave up on the shrimps. Did you, Stephanie? I, um, I'm... I don't want to build a balloon arch, so I'm not giving up on them just yet. 2020 was a wild time to have a baby. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. The girls were on ailment and we'd go through so much so quickly, but it was hard to find. Yeah. And, and like people were stockpiling it. Like people who didn't even necessarily have babies that needed formula were stockpiling it and then selling it on Facebook marketplace at like three times the cost of it which is disgusting 
you know? And it's just like, come on. How can you be... Like, the world is already having a hard enough time. Like, why are you such an evil person? And welcome back from Lurk Bex. Welcome back. The worst kind of people. The worst, in indeed. And people that couldn't get TP were buying out all the wipes. Yeah. Yeah. I just... It was such a wild time. And... You know, I, I'm thankful that we didn't have too much issue, um, with, I mean, there were sometimes the diapers got kind of low, um, because I didn't get to have a typical baby shower. Um, so we weren't, you know, at baby showers, people typically get tons of diapers and Robert didn't get to have a guy's night and do a diaper party. And so we didn't have a stockpile of diapers and so <laughs> it was just like ridiculous. It was so ridiculous. My niece was born in 2020. I still can't believe my sister had a baby shower that summer with 30 plus people from all over the state. Really, Bex? Um, I had like a drive by baby shower because we had planned a baby shower. We had a whole baby shower planned. Um, and so we then we had decided to do something like drive by. Um, Nobody, nobody really came, which I don't blame them, but I sat outside for three hours in the blistering hot heat at 34 weeks pregnant. <laughs> it was miserable. I was so miserable. It was so bad. I bought a bidet because of the TP shortage. Really? Hi, you like it? Bidets scare me. They scare me. I don't know why. They're just scary. I had a baby shower for my first and not for either of my girls. Bex refused to go. I don't blame you. I wouldn't have gone to a baby shower with that many people. I pumped and had an oversupply, but the girls couldn't process breast milk at all, so I had zero choice in formula. It was scary. Lauren, I am so sorry. That's, yeah, that is scary. I had a drive-by baby shower too. Did you, Kayla? I forgot about drive-bys. I know. <laughs> I also had a driveway with with few who came so I buy so I get it. Yeah. I also can't believe we went through all of that. I can't. And they wonder why our children are why the babies born in 2020 are so feral. <laughs> we had a lot going on. <laughs> You get used to it, really, Pi? Oh, maybe, maybe we should try. <laughs> my dad told me I was paranoid. I'm still salty about it. Yeah, my parents were the same way, but, um, like, I refuse to let anybody see Nissa, like, the first six weeks of her life. Like, we video chatted, but nobody besides like Robert and myself and Robert's sister were allowed to be around Nissa because I was like I don't know where you guys have been and the way my parents kind of handled it all I was like mm, mm -mm. sorry <laughs> I'm not taking any chances My store kept running out of the specific formula my youngest needed since she was a preemie. Oh, that's so, see, it's so scary. My friends had a drive-by baby shower, but you could stop and hang out if you could show you were vaccinated. See, Pi, that's, I can understand that, yeah. Unfortunately, the vaccine wasn't available just yet, so we totally would have done that. Um, except, you know, my parents refused to get vaccinated, but that's another story. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I feel bad for the teachers who have to deal with the 2020 babies. Me too. <laughs> Me too. My parents didn't meet Amelia until she was like six weeks old. Yeah, that was that was the same for me. My grandparents actually came by and stood on the porch and just like met her through the door. 
I mean, it was really cute, you know, but it was, I just, I feel like we were robbed of a lot of things that, and it wasn't fair, but you know, we did what we had to do to keep ourselves and our babies safe. And that's all that matters, you know? And then like, I got paranoid thinking about like, oh, well, if we have another one, do we do like a baby shower? Because we didn't have a ba like a typical baby shower the first time around. But people get so iffy about like, why are you having a baby shower for another kid? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Evil laugh because you want someone to feel your pain. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> <clears throat> The girls were 34 days old when my parents met them, but they also hadn't gone anywhere in a week and were fully vaxxed before John and I even were grateful they did that. That's amazing, Lauren. I love that. My dad isn't going to meet my baby until she's six months old because he refuses to get vaccinated for anything. Bex, I'm glad you understand. <laughs> That's how people did it for me, too. They left meals and gifts on the porch. That's so sweet, Kayla. That's what I ended up doing with most of my family through the screen door. Then I cried because they weren't able to hold her. Yep. <laughs> and I didn't get my hugs from anyone. I know. Robbed of so much, but could never go through it again. You deserve a second real shower. I know. I just, I, you know, I feel bad. Especially, like, if it were to happen for us again and we were, like, have another girl. Like, we literally have everything we could ever need. <laughs> Girls stuff-wise. <laughs> I also, honestly, I think that's part of the reason why, too, like, I definitely over, this is my childhood trauma also. This is my, I overspend and I, like, I essentially, like, I just spend so much money on her to make sure she has clothes and toys and everything, you know? <laughs> I just, I mean, we'd be set. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if it happens. <laughs> I've extended the, so my, my thing was I wanted to be done having kids by the time I was 32. I turned 32 in March and, um, I've extended the deadline to the end of the year. So if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, that's okay too. Um, we had a really hard time trying to conceive Nissa, so, um, but there's always like the scare and then we had that miscarriage, uh, two Decembers ago and it's just like, blah. <clears throat> my mother-in-law was supposed to come visit this weekend for Mother's Day, but father-in-law got COVID and just within the past couple of days tested negative. So they're both still isolating. Oh, Bex, that's so sad. Uh, does anyone feel like they have to go overboard for like birthdays and Christmases to make up for baby celebrations we were robbed of during the pandemic? Lauren, exactly. <laughs> it's that combined with my own, my own trauma, my own childhood trauma manifesting itself. So yeah, you're not alone. <laughs> I hope we get a real baby shower for our next one too. If we ever have another, it's kind of depressing to think about how isolating pregnancy and being a first time mom was then. I know. Yeah. We need to have a death to your twenties party stat. Lord for Bex. Heck yeah. Let's do it. I'm down. When and where? <laughs> also i'm sorry for like the word vomit there on my my personal my personal problems <laughs> probably should talk to somebody about that <laughs> but i'm it's it's kind of reassuring to know that like i'm not the only one who was feeling those things during those those uh, early COVID days. 
Because it's very hard to feel when you're already isolated and nothing is like typical and how you think it's supposed to be. So I'm sad that everybody else also had to deal with that. You know? No! Eric, why are you following me around? I'm going to need you to just leave me alone, okay? Go away. Hey, I got a good therapist if you need a recommendation. Lauren, I, I might. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to find something virtually, though, because, like, I just, I don't have time. Like, I'm going to have to find a... Has anybody ever used, like, better help or anything like that? I just... I don't have time to go sit somewhere in person. I just don't. It's because there's not enough hours in the day. I didn't realize how much it affected me until the trend showing 2020 and how... And now happened on TikTok. Yes! I use cerebral. Ooh, I do ther therapy virtually and I love it. Oh, that's, 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 that's good. I, and you guys enjoy it. <clears throat> I didn't get to go to therapy this week and I've been drinking, so I apologize for the word vomit. Bex, please don't apologize. That's what we're here for. This is a safe place. Let down your hair. Get out what you need to get out. I totally understand. There's no book on how to handle a pandemic, let alone being pregnant during a pandemic. Feel your feelings. Lauren, thank you. My therapist is virtual through work, but I love it. I prefer phone call versus webcam too. Oh, that's nice. I've heard bad things about BetterHelp. Really, Lauren? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to stay away from BetterHelp then. I use tele, telemed.com for mine. My psych is through that Ooh. But I may need to start seeing a therapist in person if I decide to get on, my, med, on medication for my ADHD. Oh, yeah. My husband signed up for better health help and canceled it after a week because he realized he prefers in-person over telehealth. So really, it's just like trying to find... It's just trying to find what's going to work best for you, which is understandable. I know, I know, like, like Tio says, date your therapist, right? <laughs> get, get the, get the feeling for them and then dump them if you don't like them. If you have an employee assistance program, you're sometimes eligible for free sessions. <gasps> Stephanie, ooh. I bet we do have that. Ooh, I'm going to have to look into that. That's good to know. I don't know what people find bad about it, but I've had virtual therapists that I don't vibe with and one that I love. Okay. Ooh. I'm going to have to try. My psych is all virtual and does meds as well if you need that option. Ooh. I know. Every time my doctor, every time we meet about my anxiety medication, my doctor is like, so have you thought about possibly seeing a therapist? And I'm like, no, you're filling these meds and they're working. <laughs> so I went to see a neuropsychologist last week and she highly recommended me to start an outpatient intensive therapy program at a local behavioral clinic. Really, ladybugs. Well, thank you for sharing that myth. I know that was probably hard to share with us, but I'm glad that you felt safe enough to share it here. I know. You want me to eat. I know. My psych has her dog and her meanings, and I love him so much. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Yeah, I use EAP. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to look into that. So with my new job, all of us on my team have ADHD and it's great and hilarious at the same time. Oh my gosh. Pi, I can only imagine how crazy and chaotic that can be sometimes. <laughs> I found my psych my therapist on psychology today. You can sort by specialty, spirit, spiritual spirituality, 
and there's bios you can read to find one that fits what you need. EAP is great and they'll work with you to find one that fits your needs and schedule too. That's good to know. I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay, let me get these dumb books out of my, out of my uh, storage. But yeah, my doctor is like, so have you thought any more about, um, I don't know, maybe seeing somebody? And I was like, no. <laughs> Which means she probably is, that's her way of encouraging me to maybe find somebody. <laughs> She's like, girl, you could benefit from some more professional help. <laughs> she says I have ep epis... Oh, I don't know how to say that. Proximal panic anxiety disorder and major depressive disorder. <gasps> Ladybugs. I'm sure that that's really scary, but at the same time, it's probably kind of a relief to kind of have something concrete that you that kind of explains things but I'm hope that you're able to um, find somebody that you click with though at your clinic also I finally got to talk to my psych about ADHD I brought it up before but as soon as I mentioned we were trying to get pregnant he wouldn't even entertain the conversation because no stimulants while prego yeah yeah um, that's something like that I would also really need to consider because I've noticed like with my Lexapro it's like night and day um, I know when I've taken it and I can tell when I haven't and a lot of providers like encourage you to stop taking them when you get pregnant and I'm like I don't know if I could I don't know if I could you know I mean I could but I just know, I just know how helpful they've been and it's like really scary to think about not taking them, <laughs> you know? Okay, how many more shrimp do I need? I need one more freaking shrimp. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. As soon as I catch the shrimp, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to be done streaming, but it's finding the shrimp that's going to be the problem. I was on Lexapro when I was in high school in my early 20s. I remember being able to notice if I forgot a day for sure. Oh, yeah. There was so a couple of months ago, I like all of a sudden had like I, I was feeling so incredibly sick. I was nauseous. I was dizzy. I was shaky. And I was like, oh, my God, what is going on with me? And, well, in my, my ADHD, um, and I'm easily sidetracked and I can set 10 reminders to remind me to take my medication and I hadn't taken it in three days. So I was experiencing like withdrawal symptoms. So called my doctor. She said, just take your next dose immediately. And then within a day or so, I was completely back to normal which is scary. I was like, I never, I never want to feel like that again. So I can definitely tell like if all of a sudden I have a headache or if I'm not feeling so well and I'm like, okay, did I take my meds? And more often than not, that's exactly what it is. And I'm like, I'm not going to go that many days again without taking it. Cause I felt like poo. My regular doctor recommended a psychiatrist and therapist to help me more than she can. And they helped me learn about, learn that my ADHD meds were making my undiagnosed, untreated OCD a million times worse. Once I stopped that med and started my OCD meds, even my ADHD, it's much better. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'm glad that you were able to find out what was, that's awesome. I mean, it's scary, but I'm so glad that you found out that, um that your meds were making that OCD worse. And it's crazy. Like drug interactions absolutely blows my mind. Okay. I need a blue bubble. Give me that last shrimp. Come on, please. Please. 
please, 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 please give me a blue bubble. I've been trying to do this for the last 40 days. <laughs> I love when streamers are so open on mental health and allow mental health chat. I think it's so amazing to talk about such a taboo topic. So thank you for this this evening. Well, thank you. Well, thank you guys for allowing me to like word vomit, you know, some of my concerns and things. And I mean, I definitely think that it should be talked about more because it's such a serious, you know, epidemic. And there are so many people that, you know, need help. And even if somebody is lurking and this conversation can inspire somebody to, you know, know that they're not alone and, you know, maybe give them some courage to finally get that help that they've been thinking about. Um, you know, that's what it's all about. AJ's home, so I'm going to go relax with him for a bit before we go to sleep. Have a good night. All right, Kayla, it was so good to see you. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hopefully we will see you again soon. I'm, so I'm glad that you guys are feeling I know that sometimes it can make people feel uncomfortable but unfortunately sometimes you have to have those uncomfortable conversations for there to be any kind of change you know and I vowed that you know once I had because me growing up I wasn't allowed to talk about how I was feeling um, I kind of just had to shove it all down and help my dad take care of my brother and that's why I have a lot of issues to this day um so I vowed that once you know once I got once I had kids of my own that I wanted them to be able to openly talk about these without judgment um and so I I thank you guys for allowing me to kind of sound off about it because sometimes it's really good to just talk about it and I love you guys and I trust you and I know that this is a safe space um, where there's not going to be any judgment um, because a lot of us are in the same boat, you know? I tried so many antidepressants throughout my 20s and some worked, but not as good as I'd hoped. The psych I have now finally started me on and anti-anxiety and all of a sudden the depression is doing better that's amazing Bex that is amazing thank you for those hugs Jessica <laughs> I just want to give everybody like a giant group hug right now <laughs> I've gone back and forth if I want to try and get possible ADHD diagnosis but I think I am because I feel like it's important, especially if I want to have kids one day. I've been on anxiety medication for a few years. Yeah, so I've been on my anxiety meds not quite a year yet. Um, and it's, my life has improved significantly. And I, I got the encouragement from Robert and the people in my life to finally like take control of it. I'm sad that I, I'm sad for myself that I waited so long. Um, and I had Nissa before I was finally like, okay, something is clearly, something is clearly not right. And I don't need to, I don't live at home. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a child anymore. I don't live at home in a household where I have to push everything down and hide it and just pretend like everything is okay. You know, it took me a very long time <laughs> to be able to um, say, hey, it's okay to finally get some help. It's so easy to talk with you guys because it seems like we all have so much in common. Yeah, and I think that's what's really beautiful about this streaming thing that you know, the streaming journey that I decided to take, um, it's really brought you guys into my, into my life and I appreciate you guys so much, <laughs> you know, and I just love you. <laughs> I'm going to just keep saying, I love you. I love you all so freaking much. <laughs> It's crazy how much things change once you get the help you need. I know. I know. 
a lot of women, those assigned female at birth are often undiagnosed, underdiagnosed for ADHD. Oh, I'm, I'm fairly certain I have ADHD. But because we seem to have, you know, because unfortunately it's, you know, we're supposed to be the ones that have it all together, you know? <laughs> There's no way you could have ADHD because you were a pleasure to have in class. Yeah, exactly. Although mine always was, likes to socialize a lot, which should have been an indicator, but, um... My brother, they they got my brother tested for ADHD, and he has and he has ADHD. But I, you know, I was seven and a half years older than him, and clearly it was too late. They thought it was too late. <laughs> that was on all my report cards. Won't stop talking. Same. <laughs> I don't know if I do, but I used to zone out even in K-12 and in high school. Yeah, I I will find myself zoning out or I feel like I have a million, million, billion things going on in my head and I can't ever like, I can't ever organize the thoughts or then I hyper fixate on one. So <laughs> it's really frustrating sometimes. <laughs> And like, I love the idea of making to-do lists and I love my planner and all of that stuff. Um, but nine times out of 10, I don't even do the list. You know, I start on it and then I get sidetracked. You know, I just, yeah. <laughs> which is nice because, which is just another thing that's nice about streaming is I can play games and talk at the same time, so it kind of gives me something a little bit more to focus on, if that makes any sense. It's hereditary though, so it's very possible that you have it. Really? That's crazy. I'm the shy type. I have a few traits, but I was and am a quiet and shy person. I'm just, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I'm not alone. <laughs> My inability to contradict has gotten so, so much worse. Hufflepuff. A mood. A mood. I'm definitely the inattentive type. I did great at tests, but not so much with homework, but I never acted out in class. Oh yeah, I was always talking. I mean, I did okay in school. I wasn't like a straight A student, but I did okay. Hated tests. <laughs> my ADHD is why I have a chore board on my fridge now. So Pi, so that's my problem. I, I can write out a chore list and a chore board, but I just end up ignoring it. I think I see all of those tasks and then I get overwhelmed and I'm like, nah, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I had brain scans done at five that revealed ADD and ADHD. I was also a wild child, but those scans really helped solidify the diagnosis. That's crazy. I didn't know that they could pick up on that stuff on brain scans. That's fascinating. Wow. Really just learning all kinds of things today. Thank you guys. That's me to a T. I get so overwhelmed by the lists I make, even though I was excited to make them. Yep. Yep. That's me. <laughs> that's me. And then like I will hyper fixate on, on a new hobby for like two weeks. And then I'm like, I'll st I won't do it for one day and then I'm like, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> I was very smart in school. However, I was always jumping off of stuff and playing with my friends. Really, Pi? 
I was diagnosed with Asperger's as a child, but the doctor thought I would grow out of it. Honestly, I don't think I have. Really Hufflepuff. I didn't know, I didn't know that you could grow out of something like that. My joints are paying for it now, a mood pie. <laughs> That is so me. I have laminated cleaning schedules on my board. Don't ask me when the last time I cleaned was. Don't ask me either. I don't know. Did you see the D20 tour list? I love it. No, I haven't. I would be interested to see it, though. You, num you number chores 1 through 20 and roll a, D a D20 to cross off one task at a time. <gasps> um, That's kind of a genius idea. That's genius. My husband and I both have it, so we've already talked about things we need to watch out for when the baby gets older because both of his parents and mine definitely didn't give a flying F about mental health when we were kids. Mine were the same. Mine were the same exact way. Not only does ADD, ADHD appear and be underdiagnosed for women, so does autism. It used to be thought to be a boy thing. That is insane! That's crazy. Honestly, it could be another reason why it's so mixed diagnosed. That's true. Anna, uh, it's like gamma gamification of chores. Gamification of chores. Amazing. Um, I'm going to have to get a D20. Thanks, Meezy. Making me spend money. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please be a shrimp. Please be a shrimp. Oh my gosh. Ladybugs is redeeming our first... Our first pick your poison after dark. Alright. We'll do it. That's how we'll end stream. Because if this isn't a shrimp, I'm done. I'm done with this game. Please be a shrimp. Please, please, please. No! No! Come on. Seriously, you got Eric has been following me around. He has been following me up and down this beach. The dopamine hit of just looking for a fun D20 for chores, I know. Timu, don't even tempt me, Meezy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I love buying new things. We did it. Also, if you happen to do a task tour that wasn't on your list, put it on your list just to cross it off and get that dopamine. Oh, that's a great idea. I love dopamine hits. I love it. We did it, y'all. We did it. Which means... I really should do that, but I'm not going to do it right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I haven't even opened this. It's like a... It's like a reward. <laughs> exactly, Lauren. So this is a pick your poison after dark edition. I haven't, I opened the plastic, but I haven't even like opened the box yet. So ladybugs, thank you so much for this redeem. This is how we're going to end stream tonight. I am so excited for this. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, I love, I, what? Not suit. This is a not suitable for work, right? There's not another version of this game. Is there? I guess I'm going to find out. All right. I don't know. What, okay. Disclaimer. I do not know what types of cards these are. I repeat. I do not know what type of cards these are. So please... 
don't leave me after I read these because, like I said, I'm not, I'm not even reading that card because that was nasty. I'm not doing that one either. I can't, I can't read any of these. I can't. I'm gonna put a TED talk in the Discord about gamifying learning. Yes, please do. Ash, hi, it's so good to see you. Can we get a Discord of the rejects you're not reading? Yeah. Are they too after dark? Some of them are very, very way too after dark. I'll take a picture of the ones that I'm not reading on stream. Because those were, they were, uh, 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 they were real spicy. Oh, come on. No, no. No, no. No. Here, I'm, I'll am i flash I'll flash it to the, the camera really quick. Okay? And then a daily after dark pick your poison. Yes. Okay. I, this is, you're going to understand why I could not read this out loud. Just sorting you sure love Garth Brooks so much and I sound to him. Yeah, Hufflepuff. I've seen him a few times. I actually saw him... Um, oh my god, I forgot where it's going. Okay, I'm only gonna put this up for like two seconds, and then you'll understand why I wasn't reading this card out loud. Okay, are you ready? So, not 10 p.m. after dark, and more so, nothing good happens after 2 a.m. after dark. That's exactly right, Bex. That's exactly right. This is so gross. I was not reading that. Disgusting. <laughs> this is more like Cards Against Humanity disgusting. <laughs> I told you! I told you that was so nasty. Too far. Exactly, too far. Okay. Where did that one? I lost. Ew. That is barf, not after dark. <laughs> I can't. Ash is like, I come in and I'm leaving immediately. You guys, these are so bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ash. I love you. Please don't ever leave. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I will send pictures of a couple of the other ones that were very, um... Who, whose job is it to sit around and make these cards? Because these, these are really bad. Okay, here we go. A pick your poison after dark. This is like after, after dark. Like, wow. We need a Discord channel for these. Put it on the to-do list, Hufflepuff. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Like almost done. Like almost done. I feel like I could be good at making these. My brain goes to unwanted places. Measy. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go. Would you rather carry a boombox playing Christian metal music on your shoulder everywhere you go or 
Be forced to announce when you have to poop to everyone you're with. Poop, poop, poop. Everybody says poop. Poop is also what I would pick. Okay, we'll do, oh, the boom box for sure. Ooh, Hufflepuff is coming in with the boom box. Are we not supposed to do that? <laughs> oh, God. Y'all, everybody poops. Normalize the announcements. That's true. Everybody does poop. Okay. So these cards that I'm not going to say tonight, um, I'll put in Discord, and um, they'll have uh, trigger warnings on it. So, um, <laughs> or spoilers, because they're pretty disgusting. But, destigmatize poop. <laughs> Next, we're going to have poop merch. from a serious conversation about mental health to poop. You get it all around here. All right. We're going to do one more on the house. But I mean, are you surprised? That's how we rise above our mental health issues. Poop. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, this one is, okay, here we go. I can't believe I'm about to read this out loud. Okay, here we go. Would you rather die while being burned at the stake after living a full life or accidentally find a video of your grandma on your favorite porn website? died being burned at the stake once so it might be fun to do a redo <laughs> my grandma's almost 80 widowed and still got it going on good for you Georgina <laughs> oh my god I love that oh my god oh my god I love you guys <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so glad that I decided to stream tonight. Honestly, you guys are the best. I couldn't 
I just, oh my god. I love you. <laughs> Way to kill the conversation stream crabs. I know, it's got terrible timing. Um, let me see. I think I want to find somebody else that's doing Dreamlight Valley. Okay. So we are going to go make some new friends. We need to do this every night. It's so much fun. This was like, this was like the coolest, the coolest stream ever, you guys. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for um, hanging out with me. Thank you for the conversation on mental health. I super appreciate it. We are gonna go make a new friend today. Um, their name is Earth Fuzz. They are celebrating 200 followers on Twitch, which is super excited, exciting. They're also playing, oh, Dreamlight Valley. Okay, yes. <laughs> we need to have a Discord game night so we can hear the After Dark rejects. I, we should plan that. We should definitely plan that. Oh, you guys, thank you so much for a wonderful stream. I had so much fun. Um, I love you guys. Please go give Earth Fuzz all of your love in this raid. Um, we will, um, I will keep you posted about this weekend. Um, next time we'll be streaming. Um, but thank you so much. 18 plus night. I'm so darn Hufflepuff. Definitely. For sure. But thank you guys all so much for everything. I love you. Have a wonderful night. Happy Mother's Day. Um, to fur mamas, human mamas, all. Um, you guys deserve to have a day just for you. Um, but I love you. Have a great night. I will see you all in Discord. And we'll talk to you later. Bye!